It's a great honor to have you, Dr. Moeti. We have seen new Ebola cases reported in West Africa after the outbreak was officially declared as over at the end of last year. So what can be done to prevent the recurrence of the disease? I think, you know, I think here is one place where we have to learn from the previous experiences with Ebola. This particular outbreak, because it's involved such a large number of people, mm -hmm. as opposed to the small outbreaks we've had in the past, we are learning that there are certain manifestations of Ebola of which we were unaware before or which did not occur before. Mm -hmm. And one of them is the issue of survivors and the fact that the survivors can continue to be able to transmit the virus for quite a lot longer than was originally thought. And there's this research going on to try to understand it. So essentially, what I, what I would say is that um, the, the epidemic, we can't declare it absolutely finished while we still have one case uh, emerging after a few months. But you know, that big um, crisis of an epidemic is virtually over. Beijing reported one new case of yellow fever on Monday, making it a total of four in the capital. So do we need to worry about an outbreak? And what measure can be taken to prevent it? I, I think uh, you, we don't need to worry about an outbreak in China. You know, these are people who all got infected in Angola. Mm -hmm. They have come back home. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there is a need to make sure that uh, these people uh, do not transmit to other people. Mm -hmm. I think what's, Im what's important is to realize that these Chinese uh, workers or business people went to Angola and were exposed to yellow fever because there happened to be an outbreak there, but these people had not been vaccinated. You have talked with our health minister, Li Bin. So what was said in terms of China and WHO working together to strengthen the health systems in Africa? We talked about we talked about several things. Clearly, uh, the leadership in China, the president, has made very important commitments about supporting uh, health development in China within mm -hmm. the framework of his South South Initiative to support the Sustainable Development Goals in African countries. Mm -hmm. So we think we can bring very good advice and facilitation to this partnership between China and Africa because we know the countries well. China is bringing in some resources, some capacity, mm -hmm. which uh, are a big challenge in our African countries. And I think this could be a very fruitful partnership. Thank okay. you so much, Dr. Moiti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.